Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to our channel, and thanks for logging on. Today, we're discussing the Breitling Chronomat BO4 GMT. You can see this automatic Breitling in-house caliber GMT chronograph and purchase it on our website. Subscribe to our YouTube channel if you enjoy these videos, and please click on the card in the upper right-hand corner of the screen at any time during this video to see our full listing for this watch with additional accessories included, high-resolution images, and naturally complete pricing details. Now on my wrist, six and a third inches, 16 centimeters in circumference, roughly oval in profile and flat across the top, you can see just how large a 44 millimeter Breitling is. Now other brands offer 44 millimeter watches and sometimes, like in the case of something like a Jezure Le Coult Amvox 2, 44 wears pretty compact. In the case of Breitling, it wears large. How large? Well, Consider 17 millimeters thick. This is a deep and heavy case. Everything, bezel, case, case back, bracelet and clasp is massive such that on the wrist, whether or not you're wearing a Breitling for Bentley, they all feel like Bentleys, very substantial. Now from lug to lug, again, big, 55 millimeters from lug to lug. You can see that my wrist at 16 centimeters in circumference has the right shape for this watch being relatively flat across the top. If your wrist is shaped like mine and 16 centimeters, you should be able to wear this watch with a good sense of proportion and style. If your wrist is any smaller or if it's more round in profile, you might be borderline for this watch. I would say 16 centimeters with the right shape is the lower limit to wear this one well. But it is very comfortable. And the five link slash cut pilot bracelet is a gorgeous piece, all of high polish. It's a nice match for the case. And because it is very hefty, along with the single fold deployant clasp with a very secure clamshell lock, it does a nice job of counterweighting the watch. And you can see that well from this profile shot. The bracelet and the clasp in the best tradition of large steel sports watches, they counterbalance it to provide a keel such that the watch doesn't want to capsize or topple on your wrist. It makes it wear more naturally, still substantial and heavy, but comfortable and well balanced. Now you also note that underneath, the bracelet has broad evacuated channels between the links such that it won't pull hair or pinch skin. Now, of course, since 2009, Breitling has been evolving its in-house calibers based on the B01. So this watch uses what's known as the B04, still automatic winding, still with a three-day power reserve, still featuring vertical clutch and column wheel actuation, 47 joules. It is a COSC certified Swiss chronometer and protected by 200 meter water resistance within the case. And yes, this being a GMT, it does have an independent second time zone with a 24 hour hand. Now, normally I would show you the case back, but on Breitlings, they are solid case backs. One of the reasons that when these watches are water tested by watchmakers, a special hard case setting has to be used because the case is fundamentally incompressible. They are that tough. Now, the watch isn't just tough in appearance, it is tough in fact. In addition to having incompressible cases, you can see how the bezel is held on by individual screws along its flanks. When you disassemble a Breitling for service, these have to be removed to detach the bezel. And this is unlike any other watch that I know of in the luxury class. Most rotating bezels, and this one is a bi-directional rotating 24-hour GMT type, the better to read a temporary third time zone simultaneously. But most watches have snap-on bezels. This includes Rolex, includes Omega, Blancpain, and a sharp blow can dislodge the bezels on those watches. Not so here. This is stuck to stay until manually removed by taking out all the screws. It's simply that tough. And the bezel itself features the distinctive chronomat rider tabs that have been part of the family since 1984. They make the bezel easier to use when your hands are gloved or wet or sweaty. Also, it features the digital style of bezel that first launched on the Galactic series, sometimes known as the Space Invaders, sometimes known as the Digi. It has a distinctive appearance and a nice brushed metal finish that contrasts nicely with the polish of the case and bracelet, as well as the polished rider tabs. The dial is a sunburst silver with the exception of its inner quadrant. Now you can see that inner quadrant is actually a matte, it's a matte finish, not satin. It doesn't have a grain to it. It's a light texture. It, it has a little bit of roughness to it such that it mats or mutes the impact of the light relative to the sunburst portions. Easy to read the second time zone off the 24 hour hand. There's also a jump date with a quick set function, but it can only be actuated, and I'll show you how this works, by manually adjusting the independent hour hand. Now you can see how the date jumps. This is how you adjust the date using the quick set function unique to this B04 caliber. Of course, you can adjust all of the indications in sync as well. 
you can see this Breitling Chronomat BO4GMT with 200 meter water resistance, three simultaneous time zones, an independent 24 hour hand, and of course, a three day automatic winding in-house chronograph caliber on our website.